Good morning. I am slightly excited to try this. I have like a weird irrational fear it's not going to work, but I figured I would film it just in case it did. So I was talking about mangoes in one of my videos and about how I hate having to cut them. And someone was like, they have mango cutters. So I did what I do best and went to Amazon and I got myself a mango cutter. Let's cut this baby out of here. Oh my God, how exciting. Oh, cool. I'm gonna wash it, but you put this in here and then you put this over it. We are gonna see and put this to the test because this will make life so much easier, but I'm skeptical with this contraption. I hope this works. It would be so cool. It looks like in the picture they have like this part up top. Let's just do it. <gasps> I'm shook. That worked in literally two seconds. You're lying. Whoever commented this, I don't remember. I'm sorry. You're a lifesaver this is everything this is my new favorite thing I really didn't think that was going to be as easy as it was I am shook to my core I have never been happier this is the best day of my life <laughs> welcome back everybody it is Monday morning for me so probably Wednesday or Friday for you not much is going on today I got like a really it was really hard for me to get out of bed this morning I don't know why TJ got out of bed pretty early but now he's back in bed just kind of moping around today I have some stuff I have to do today actually probably I have to figure out what we're gonna do for a video the never-ending struggle <laughs> someone also commented saying that mangoes cause constipation but when I googled it it said that they help so if anyone has any insight let me know I ate a little while ago and I just had raisin bran so it doesn't really hold you over and now I just really wanted the mango wow my god it's so good come here you want a little mango you want some can you eat it off the fork no you don't know how to do that come here Pierce has been so cuddly this morning you want another little piece <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna eat my mango, research the internet to see what all the kids are up to on the YouTube, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, hello there. It's your neighborhood wet dog reporting live. I showered and now I'm just hanging out with the toilet. Got this little thing to replace this thing. And this is our main bathroom, as TJ likes to call it. And it's basically just where all of our extra stuff goes that like, you know, like extra tampons and Q-tips and those kinds of things. And then like random makeup that I have. And we also have a bunch of medicine cabinet stuff, which I wanna just like put in here. So it looks like this and then it's just like our medicines or whatever we need to use. So this is pretty much what everything looks like. Extra razors, Q-tips, tampons, pads, smelly stuff. And then this is all of our bath stuff because this is the bathroom that has an actual bath. Our other shower does not. So I would say it's like pretty organized. Let's take all of these things and put them in there. We can also probably definitely get rid of stuff. TJ just grabbed it all from whatever was in our medicine cabinet, so I honestly have no idea what's even in here. TJ's cologne's. Oh my god, I look so good! Look at this. So much better than before, and you can just clearly see everything here, like medicines, allergy stuff, and then like random things. Face lotion, um, hair stuff, and then hand cream. Very nice. I can put these down here. That's an extra one of those. So if like we have guests and they're using this bathroom, then they will have um, ear cleaners. <laughs> Why can't I think of what things are called a Q-tip? <laughs> An ear cleaner. Oh my god, that felt so good. It was so easy. It took me five minutes. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm actually excited about this. We did a brand deal with Casetify, but the cases they wanted us to order didn't come in time for the brand deal. 
but they just got here and I want to open them to see. I don't remember what I got. I ordered them like weeks ago. But so when we do brand deals with Casetify, they have us like customize and pick out our own cases, which I think is awesome. Um, unless it's like a specific collection, like the UPS one or the Coca-Cola one. But it just arrived just in time for the brand deal to be over. I'm gonna open it and see what I got. Oh, fancy. Oh, that's cute. It says go away 2020. But then if you flip it over, it says 2021, come in. Oh my God, this is such a cute package. Oh my God, I am obsessed. This is like an olive green one. I didn't customize or anything. I just kept this one plain because I thought it was so sleek. But then, guys, this is my favorite. I'm so excited I got this one. And it says EP as my initials oh my gosh chic i want to put this one on right now oh it's so cute look at how nice this looks and then i got this cute one i thought this would be so cute in like the spring or summer very cute and then this little cow i love it oh my god cute how fun oh my god i'm like fully obsessed with this one don't i look like so cool like Another exciting thing that is like literally probably only exciting to me is for Valentine's Day, which was yesterday, TJ got me my very first ski gear that is like mine. I normally just like rent all my equipment and then TJ's parents just have so much extra stuff like ski pants, a helmet, ski goggles, like literally everything I use is borrowed. But for Valentine's Day, TJ got me my very first pair of my own ski gloves. And I'm so excited. I know that it's like a lot of people are probably just like, whatever, but I think it's so sweet and I'm so excited. I have always just like rented stuff and borrowed everything because I'm not an advanced skier by any means and it wasn't really necessary, but now I think I'm good enough to where like I can start building my own ski collection. But these are so cool. You can put it around your wrist and then put it on. So like if you're on the lift or something and you have to like fix something, you can, it'll just dangle. What an invention. For Valentine's Day, I got him an iPad because he's always like cooking in the kitchen and he really needed it. I actually filmed that day that I got it, but I wound up having like a full mental breakdown <laughs> on the way there. This was like Friday. Yeah, I had a full mental breakdown. So I'm probably just not gonna post that video. <laughs> I don't, like I don't even know if I can watch the footage back, but I was just having like a really, it was a really tough day. I don't know if you guys remember, but that astrologer that I spoke about in the last video, she wound up like tweeting out that Carly and I like just ghosted her and stopped responding to her because she asked to be paid, which is just like a complete lie. And people were like DMing me and I was like, I don't understand what's happening. And I guess she had deleted the tweet, but one girl actually wound up telling me what she had said and I was just like so overwhelmed because I just don't understand the audacity of people to just straight up lie and it's been happening so often and it just really got to me. And I wound up DMing her being like, hey, like why did you <laughs> say this when like that never happened and that's not the truth and then she blocked me. <laughs> so like I don't even, I, it was just truly the most bizarre experience and um, it's really unfortunate because we were excited to do the video and I literally have no idea what happened, but we found somebody else and I'm excited. So we are still gonna do an astrology video, but I literally had a full mental breakdown about that on Friday. I still can't get over the fact that she blocked me and like didn't have a conversation with me about it. I literally shook to my core, shook it. All right, I'm gonna keep staring at this phone case now. It's 1.20. We have to figure out what the fuck to do for a video today. I literally have no idea. I want the vaccine <laughs> and I want it now so that we can make videos together again. TJ is gone and we just got a, what looks like a Target delivery. Um, He didn't tell me he was getting anything, which rude, what if I wanted something? Oh, wait, I feel like I know what it is. So he has a calendar that tells you what like the national holiday is, is and today is like Wisconsin day. So I was like, make something with cheese. So I think he ordered some stuff. Looks like we got some eggs. We got 
sausage, Paris avocado, cream cheese, and then it looks like he got marshmallow stuff. Oh my God, the marshmallow smells so good. So cute. This is the thing with Target is in or, and shipped in most delivery services is that you have to have a minimum order. So he probably was just like, oh, we'll get this and this too when all he needed was cheese curds. <laughs> I'm very excited about the s'mores though. Maybe that means we're doing that tonight, which I would not be upset about. Okay, well that's a little Target haul. My back hurts so bad today and I legitimately think that it's because yesterday I just sat on the couch all day long and then I literally dreamed about going to Dr. Jason. Like I woke up and I was telling teachers like, oh my God, I had a dream that I went to Dr. Jason. He's our chiropractor. And it was so nice. And like literally all I want is to go to the fucking chiropractor. The first time I went, you had to get like a scan of your back so he could see like where he needed to realign stuff. And I genuinely think that I'm gonna have to do all of that all over again because I think when I got my x-rays for my stomach, you could see my back like, <laughs> was like that, so. I don't know, I've been sitting on a couch for almost a year, like what did I think was gonna happen? I used the whey thing again and I genuinely am so obsessed with it. It makes my hair so soft and I love how it just kind of gives me like waves instead of, like if you look under here, you can see like my intense curls, but like up top it's just like wavy and it's not heavy. Like it literally feels like there's nothing in my hair right now, which is amazing, but it's such a pretty like wave that it gives to it. Okay, I'm gonna go cuddle Paris. I need any and all opinions. We've gotten some suggestions, but it's starting to get out of hand. Paris, we let her outside at the back and then she just came in and she had something in her mouth. So I tried getting it out and it was a piece of poop. She will not stop eating Whitey's poop. Pretty sure it's Whitey's poop. Maybe her own. We think that it's Whitey's poop because Paris loves the taste of Whitey's food and I feel like Whitey's poop probably tastes like Whitey's food, which means Paris likes it, which is absolutely disgusting. Oh, oh are you hiccuping now? Or something like that. That's your own stomach telling you that you're disgusting. I need to know why this happens and I need anyone to tell me what to do to make it stop because I am so grossed out. <laughs> Are you like eating her poop so that I won't feel bad that you guys can go to the bathroom and I can't? Is that what's happening? Like, are you trying to hide the fact that both of you go poop? So you just eat it? Because I don't understand why you would eat your own poop. Poop is not your breakfast. Poop is not your dinner and poop is not a treat, okay? It was gonna make you sick one day, so you have to stop eating it. Please, anybody help. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I feel like it's a lot of little chats, a couple chats here and there, um, but I hope you enjoyed it and it brought you s anything today. <laughs> It made you feel something, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you on Friday, I think. Yeah, Friday. I don't know what day it is, so Friday. This is Wednesday, right? Yeah, okay, I'll see you Friday probably, or whenever I feel like it next. Don't hold me to it. I'm hoping Friday, but like probably when I feel like it next, so bye. <laughs>